most supporters of capitalism see greed as human flaw. Do you agree? Would you rather live in a place where everyone is selfish or where your neighbors are willing to help you if you suffer an accident and can't work? If family or team thrive and its members are selfish, is true or giving wrong? Is it moral to ignore those who are poor because they were born with disabilities or fell ill? All right, so that's a lot of questions. Um, so do I think that greed is bad? It really depends on what you mean by greed. If greed means I want more, and I want more, and I want more, then it's pretty good. I want more, and next year I'll want even more. And it's a motivator. Um, it motivates business. If just the seeking more is what greed is, then it's a good thing. If greed means wanting more and willing to do anything to get it, i.e. immoral stuff, lying, cheating, stealing, then of course it's bad. So it really depends on how you define what greed actually is. But there's a, there's a wonderful speech in the movie Wall Street. I don't know if you've seen the movie Wall Street. Um, uh, where the villain gives a great speech on greed, and he's absolutely right. Where he talks about greed is good. He talks about what greed does and how it motivates and how it creates and how it builds and how it does all these things. Now, it's in, this, it's in the mouth of the villain, so the movie doesn't agree with that. It thinks it's the opposite. It was it, The movie Wall Street was directed by Oliver Stone, who's a Marxist, so he doesn't like capitalism. But the speech is a pretty good speech, and it basically says, look, you know, you, you're all ambitious, hopefully. You want to get a good job? When you get a good job, you want to get a raise? You want to become a manager? You want to become a CEO one day? Is that greed? If that's greed, then it's good. You know, we could call it ambition. If greed crosses the line where you're literally willing to do anything, then sure. But then, you know, it, greed is bad in, in love. Greed is bad in any aspect if you're willing to cross that line. But ambition is always good. So that was one. Second, would I rather live in a society of everybody is selfish and nobody would help a neighbor out when he got into trouble, something like that? Yeah, first of all, I'd love to live in a society where everybody was selfish. I would, God, that is my biggest wish, is to live in such a society. Because that's a society in which everybody takes care of themselves. Everybody is self-sufficient. Everybody is focused on creating win-win relationships. Everybody deals with the people they want to deal with and doesn't deal with the people they don't want to deal with. It's a society of producers and creators and builders. It's a society in which I'm much richer than I am, and all of you are too. And it's a society where we're not riddled in a culture with guilt about our successes, which most people over the age of 40 are. You're too you're successful, but you haven't given away enough money. You haven't done this, you haven't done that. Guilt is everywhere in our society. You take away guilt, people are so much happier. There's a society of happy people. But then you add something, right? A society in which they wouldn't help their neighbor. Why wouldn't they help their neighbor? So is, is a society in which people are pursuing their own self-interest a society where you wouldn't help your neighbor? Now, if he's a nasty, horrible person, yeah, I'm not helping him. And that's the thing about self-interest. It's conditional. All your relationships are conditional. But if they're basically a decent person, Fall on a bad luck, and then, of course I'd help him. I'd help him because any self-interested human being values human life. They value human relationship. They don't want to see human suffering because they cherish life. Life is a beautiful thing. Hey, we take care of plants because we value life. We take care of pets because we value life. People, wow, that's real life. So if I was a decent human being, absolutely, in a selfish society, they would be helped. I think they would be helped more and better than we do today when we outsource our charity to the government or whatever. And then this question, would selfish people pursue charity? Yes, I think they would. They'd pursue it in a very focused way. They'd pursue it around the things that they valued, they cared. They wouldn't help everybody. They would make their help conditional on somebody turning their life around finding a job, trying to do the best that they could do, like the neighbor. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll help you right now, but I expect you to go look for a job. I expect you to do what you can to make a living versus the blank you know, check that we issue people today, even through charities that, are, that don't follow through and don't make sure that people 
self-prove. So I think there would be charity. I think it would be different. But I think there would be. And uh, I think it would be a lot more productive than the welfare state in terms of actually helping people and getting people back on their feet. Why would people do it? People would do it again because of a love of life, per se, a love of humanity, per se. Right? They wouldn't help people they didn't think deserved it. They would help people they did think they deserved it. What was the last part? Or was, have we covered everything? Um, is it moral to ignore those who are poor because they were born with disabilities or fell ill? Is it moral to ignore people that are poor and, and because they were born with disabilities? Sure, it's moral to ignore them. It doesn't mean you should ignore them. But if somebody else's kid is born with a disability, it's not a claim against my life. It doesn't mean now I am somehow morally obliged to help. I might choose to help, but it doesn't place an obligation. Somebody else's troubles don't place a moral obligation on you. For example, if my neighbor, the story with my neighbor, if I don't have any money right now, I'm not helping my neighbor. If my kid is going to college and I have to pay his college tuition, I'm not helping my neighbor. Right, if I don't have enough money to do both. So everything is conditional on my life. So I might choose to help a poor family where a kid is, um, you know, is, is, uh, is born with, a, with a, a disability. But it's not an obligation for me to do so. Other people's problems are not a claim against you. This is what self-interest means. Your life is yours. And you get to choose how to make decisions about that life. In capitalism, if a child is born with disabilities, first of all, he's got parents. And since we're all richer, the parents are richer than they would be today. So mostly they can take care of that child. Second, you've got charity. You've got family. You've got wider networks of people close to that child who might choose to help him. It's not everybody's responsibility. It's, just, it's the choice of some people to do so. It's not an obligation.